So my story is a story by Matt Day, and it's a story about the Polish Anne Frank. And it's, it's quite a fascinating story. It's the story of a girl who was 15 in 1939, called Renia Spiegel in Przemysl, which is a city in eastern Poland. And it's, it's a, it's a 700-page diary, so it's a very substantial diary. Um, and it ends tragically because Renia, Renia gets, gets caught and gets murdered. So it's, 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 a, it's a really sad story. And, but it's also a little bit, the, the elements that link it to Anne Frank is it's obviously a teenage girl spilling her thoughts out on a, on a diary and there's also a, a love element to it. And that's the reason actually the, the diary managed to, to survive the war as she was, as she was captured. So she was, she was living on the Aryan side and she was found and, and murdered by the Germans in 1942, so she'd been writing her diary for just under, just under three years. Um, so this, and uh, this co is coming out in English? It is coming out in English, it's been translated. So her family moved to the United States and her sister had the, um, the sister and, and mother survived the Holocaust. Okay. And then the lover, Zygmunt, who was handed the diary before uh, Renia was murdered, handed, basically tracked down the family, found them and, and gave them the gave them the diary. And the, there's a very sort of moving entry at the end of it. I mean, one of the entries. So it hasn't been published yet. It's, it's, it's about to be published. But I, I think, I mean, this, it's quite, I'm quite happy about the fact that there is this sort of Polish Anne Frank because the, the memory of the Holocaust has very much been centered on, on Western Jews, so on, on French Jews, on, on Dutch Jews. Um, the, this is, it's quite exciting to have, I mean, exciting and, and heartbreaking, but to have a teenage girl sort of embody the, the Polish, uh, the Polish Jewish experience of the Holocaust. So my dear diary, my good beloved friend, we've gone through such terrible times together and now the worst moment is upon us. I could be afraid now, but the one who didn't leave us then will help us today too. He'll save us, hero oh Israel, save us, help us. You've kept me safe from bullets and bombs, from grenades, help me survive and you, my dear mama, pray for us today, pray hard. Think about us, and may your thoughts be blessed. And I think it's 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 quite moving to have the 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 Jewish religiosity, which which I think was very much defined Jewish life in Poland um, before the Holocaust, sort of very religious uh, community, whereas a lot of the the Western Jews were far more secularized than than the ones in Poland. So it's very very exciting that this has finally been been, and obviously the the tragedy of the family who survived, of the mother who lost her a daughter of the sister who lost her, her sister. Uh, but finally this, this story coming out. I mean, it's incredible how the Holocaust, you know, it's been, it's been almost 80 years and still there's things coming out all yeah. the time and so many untold stories and so many stories to be told. But it's, but it's, it's exciting that, that, this, that this is. We've had a comment from Jeffrey <laughs> saying that this, she, she's, the story's been in, I think in Polish maybe, and known in English, but the book, the actual mm. diary itself, her diary hasn't been published in English. It's not going to be published in English. Uh, sorry, sorry, the, the, it's, it's been, it's been, known, it's been for known for a while, but hasn't been published in English. Um, and that she was actually born on the same day as Anne Frank. That's which, incredible. Which is crazy. Yeah, that is a crazy coincidence. The, the chances of it. Uh. Um, yes, uh, again, I'm always struck by just how many books there are in Polish mm. that, you know, yeah. read like Hollywood film epics or, yeah. or have this yeah. terrible tragic element to it because this is a teenage girl so there's mm. there's that that thing um that are sitting there in polish mm. on bookshelves all over the place yeah that only need to be translated into english and could could and should go out around the world yeah have you got a book like that that you've got well no well, with thinking with talking about that i mean it, it's it's interesting that, that these books are coming out with jack fairweather's pilecki book and with roger morehouse september campaign book so the stories are being told though um now that you ask, well, actually, I, I, just, I just sort of think, the, regarding your question, yeah, the first thing that comes to mind is, the, is a diary of, of a resistance fighter that I knew personally who, who, who died about two years ago now. Um, and just his, he was in the, in the in, was he that? was from Vilna, Josef Banzo, and he fought both the, both the, the Germans and then he fought the, the Soviets as well and then was jailed. Right? Ten, just over a decade, spent over a decade in jail. But even that, you know, here was someone I, I knew, and, and his story's not very known in Poland. I mean, he's just a, a minor character in the resistance. And, and that sort of, still, it was, you know, a fascinating story with incredible anecdotes and, and just, yeah. Yeah, I was always thinking to myself, like, the one thing you could do is just have, like, a translation house just translating yeah. all the... Cause it did, so he, did he write a book? He did. He wrote, he wrote his memoirs. And it's in Polish, just never been... It's just in Polish, yeah. 
Project Fides. Thank you. <laughs>